OpenAI is in some serious hot water after a leaked letter revealed a massive contradiction in what they've been telling the public. Let's break down how this all went down. It all started a few days ago when OpenAI's CFO, Sarah Fryer, mentioned in an interview that the company wanted a federal guarantee to help finance huge investments in AI chips for data centers. That one comment set the internet on fire. People were furious. Why? Well, OpenAI is a private company, and the idea of taxpayers potentially bailing out a billion-dollar startup didn't sit well with anyone. The backlash was so intense that Fryer had to walk it back, fast. She claimed she demisspoke, and that OpenAI was absolutely not seeking a government backstop. But it was too late. The narrative was out there. OpenAI wants a bailout. A tweet accusing the company of extortion went viral, racking up over a million views. And just when you thought it couldn't get worse for them, it did. It turns out that just 10 days before Fryer's interview, OpenAI had sent a letter to the White House. And what did they ask for? You guessed it. Loan guarantees, grants, and cost-sharing programs to support AI infrastructure. This letter directly contradicted everything they were saying publicly. The document basically argued that to keep up with China in the AI and energy race, the US government needed to deploy grants, loans, and guarantees. The implied threat was clear. If we don't get help, America falls behind. Now, that's not a totally baseless argument, but it definitely blurs the line between national interest and a corporation just looking out for itself. The situation got so messy that CEO Sam Altman himself had to jump in. He clarified that OpenAI does not want government guarantees and that taxpayers should never bail out a company that fails. He even said if we mess up, we should fail. That's capitalism. But here's the billion dollar, or rather trillion dollar question. How is OpenAI planning to pay for its rumored $1.4 trillion infrastructure plan? Altman claims the company will grow from $20 billion in revenue this year to hundreds of billions by 2030. He sees this growth coming from enterprise AI, new devices, robotics, and even selling computing power to other companies. However, critics are skeptical. They point out that the whole AI economy can look like a closed loop. OpenAI buys chips from NVIDIA, NVIDIA then invests back into OpenAI, and both companies' valuations soar. It raises the question, is this real, sustainable growth or just a bubble? This leads to the real debate here. Has OpenAI become too big to fail? And if it were to fail, would it take the entire US AI industry down with it? Altman insists the answer is no. He argues the government should focus on building national AI infrastructure for everyone, not just handing out corporate bailouts. But with AI expanding faster than anyone could have predicted, OpenAI says they're in a race to build the computing power for the future, not just for today. So what do you think? Is OpenAI acting as a guardian of America's AI future? Or are they just trying to build their own empire on the public's dime? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And subscribe MindFacts.